Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is day 28 of the RPG A Day 2019 challenge. Today's word is love. As tempting as it is to say that this is the old acronym of Level of Execution, let's not take that route. Putting in a romantic story in, in, in a campaign is a difficult one to do, depending on the game that you're doing. It's very much one that, requ that requires a certain degree of... I guess precision would be the right word, but I can't think of the right word at the top of my head right now. Mostly because you need a lot of rights. You need the right kind of T, you need the right kind of group, you need the right kind of story, and you need the right kind of touch in order to handle the matter. It's especially not the best thing to do when you've got a t when you've got a team that is very mu that is very much on the snark level. Plus, there's always going to be a dramatic seriousness to that kind of story that just isn't going to work there. In f and that's assume that's assuming that you have an NPC falling falling in for eight for one of the player characters. I would say that it has more potential as a complication rather than a goal. And I think that's why it's not surprising that you see a lot of um, RPGs that have the whole 20 questions thing like L5R did, where that does cause complications. After all, I'm pretty sure we've all seen at least, at least one romantic tragedy over the course of our lives. I'm not going to say that that's a better way to handle the story because there's no true way to handle the story, I believe. Of course, it can also provide an excellent motivation for villains. Especially the big bad evil guy, or B-Bag as it were. I had thought about bringing in blue, something like Blue Rose or certain romantic heroes like, say, Dr like, say Drizzt. But... I think that's a different approach that requires its own conversation that I'm not willing to have at this point in time. Any way you slice it, trying to do love in a campaign is going to be a tricky affair, and it's going to be one of those that's easier to fail than it is to stick the landing, which I think is the reason why a lot of GMs just aren't going to touch it. I, at the very least, only really touched it, only touched upon it when it came to a couple NPCs, and that was the building of a of something that I'd established for about 20 sessions. In this particular case, I'm referring to Ryder the Transformation and the and the story of Ro of Roseanne and Yuri. But the thing is there was a relationship already established on that front. If you want to see what happens when you try and do this without the necessary tact, Consider Anna in Metro Last Light. I know that it's probably blasphemous for me to bring up a video game example when it comes to this, but that's the key example that comes to mind when it comes to how to not handle a romance subplot. 